Hello, my friends. Today we are going to do an oil change on a VW transmission, specifically the 01M automatic transmission from the Volkswagen Group. For that, I've brought our kit here. This is the 100-135-0014, which includes three liters of oil, two new gaskets, the necessary screws, as well as the essential drain plug and the spacer bushings a new magnet and of course a filter and what is truly important to remember a brand new perfectly fitting cap for the oil filler tube and this secure closure mechanism now i'll show you exactly how we do the oil change right here on this stylish seat toledo first we'll start by draining the oil for that we have a five millimeter allen key here So we've now successfully unscrewed the main drain plug completely. Inside here, which you can't see yet, is an insert, an oil level tube. We'll also need to unscrew this after the oil has drained. While the oil is draining, we can already turn our attention to this cover here. This is just a simple protective plate for the oil pan. Of course, this also needs to be unscrewed. So in the meantime, the oil has already drained out. Now we just need to carefully unscrew this oil level tube right here. We can conveniently use the very same 5 millimeter Allen key that we previously used for the main drain plug. For that, we carefully insert it in. There we go, there it is. And now we can unscrew the overflow tube by hand. We'll see that quite a bit more oil will come out of the oil pan. So as the next step, we can unscrew the oil pan, just loosen the four screws. The M6 ones that are in here with a 10 millimeter socket. I think the filter has already come off. Indeed, the filter just actually came out as well. So here, as I said, you know, it also fell off right together with it. it That happens from time to time. That kind of suggests that the filter has been installed for a long time. Now we'll let the whole thing dry off. Sometimes the gasket from the filter gets stuck here. Here. In this intake opening of the mechatronics unit, in that case, definitely don't use a metal tool. Pry it out, but instead use a plastic tool if possible so you don't scratch the ceiling surface here. So next we'll clean the oil pan first, but we'll do that at the workbench. Here's the old filter. The filter has already been changed once, but here too you can clearly see the wear marks. So the old filter is now completely out and we will carefully remove the old gasket. You can also clearly see quite well inside the oil pan that there's already considerable and significant wear. The oil change in this particular vehicle was also long overdue. It absolutely has to be said. So what we'll do is first then we'll carefully take out the magnet. You can also really clearly see here how much where there already is on it. A lot of abrasion. So the oil pan is now cleaned up. We'll take the appropriate gasket and the magnet with us. So we have the ones with four holes, the spacer bushings, magnet and the gasket. So the gasket is installed completely dry and later mounted dry as well. Here is the magnet. And then it's a good idea already at this step to insert these spacer bushings here.
Now, only the filter and sealing surface on the transmission remain. We have to clean them. One more important thing here. I keep seeing in workshops that people just grab the spray can and go all out with it here, spraying it into the transmission. Don't do that. There are some sealing rings and components in automatic transmissions that can't handle this cleaner and will swell up or get damaged. So it's best to just spray a little onto a rag. That's more than enough to get it properly clean. All right, next we can already reinstall the filter. It helps here if you maybe take another small drop of oil, gently rub it onto the seal up here so it slides into the opening a bit more easily and smoothly. He says, There we go, it's securely in place now, perfectly. Now next we can already install the oil pan. For that we still need four of these screws here. Now of course we have to tighten the screws with the correct torque. In this case it's 12 Newton meters. Now, as the next step, remember, we unscrewed this oil dipstick tube. This will now be fastened with two Newton meters. Secured. All right, next I can already go ahead and screw in the old drain plug right here at this point now. Why the old one? Because, of course, I don't want the ceiling ring on our shiny, beautiful new one to get squashed already. After all, we have to unscrew this plug again to check the correct oil level. That's why I'm using this one for now. As the next step, we need to remove this part here. This is the oil fill opening. Next, we can fill the oil filling device with oil. All right, the oil is filled in. I'll just attach the adapter now. And by the way, if you want to have this can, just contact your parts dealer. Any well-stocked parts dealer can get you this Mele device. It's available to everyone. Now, I just need to simply pump, and we completely fill in the entire full three whole liters. We've now filled in three liters of oil. Next, we need to start the engine. Cycle through all gear selector positions for about 10 seconds each. And then, we can carefully check the engine oil level afterwards. Before we actually start the engine now, take the oil cap and gently put it onto the tube here. Just push it on, just a little bit. Use a suitable diagnostic device to read out the transmission temperature. Now start the engine. Now we switch through each and every gear selector position for about a natural 10 seconds. All right, the engine is running. Now we can check the oil. The oil temperature is currently at about 35 degrees. The test temperature is specified between 35 and 40 degrees Celsius. 40 degrees Celsius should not be exceeded here. Let's just take a quick look to see where we are at. Now we can simply unscrew the drain plug and all of the excess oil will completely drain out from the system. There's still a little too much in there right now. 
when it starts to drip, then it's correct. Now is about the right time. Now we can screw it back in. But now we'll use our new screw. The screw is tightened to 15 Newton meters. There it's tightened. Next, we don't need to add any more oil. The oil level is correct. Let's take our new cap. And press it in here. There you go, that's it. And here is the brand new clip, which effectively prevents this particular part from coming completely off. And now you just simply have to squeeze it firmly together. There, you can hear a slight clicking sound. Done, that's it. That's basically it for our oil change. Now we can put everything back together. Of course, we still need to install this protective plate here, but that's how simple the whole thing is. Have fun and safe travels. Bye.